All right, we are here with owner and founder of wildly successful fitness brand uh, based out of Chicago, J Scope Fitness, Jazz Jackson. Thank you so much for having me. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing good. I'm really excited to be here. I'm excited to talk, so let's get into it. Okay, all right, so I want to get right into it. So take us back to before J Scope before fitness who was jazz jackson oh my goodness uh that jazz was definitely not the jazz that i am today um as it relates to my to my fitness journey um i i'd like to say that i was like the beyonce of couch potatoes <laughs> because i did nothing at a very high level you know and as it relates to my 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 fitness level um, and I was never really interested in having a life of fitness or just, you know, working out, dieting properly. I think that throughout my, my teens and my 20s, you know, I really skated on my DNA. So I didn't have to do a whole do lot. But as, you know, my, my mid to late 20s kicked in, you know, that metabolism started to slow down. Um, among other things, you know, but the that generation of jazz was was just very chill you know i loved mm -hmm. all of the snacks and all of the you know super high fat foods just anything you know anything comfort food base was kind of like my diet i did a lot of comfort food so um but yeah that's that's who i was okay okay nice um so what you know, made you shift into fitness. So now I want to start like at the at the very beginning yeah. of your journey. So what was the shift? Yeah. So uh, I I was diagnosed with depression in 2012. That's kind of what got me started. But it wasn't until 2017 that I actually did something about that issue. Um, but from that time between 2012 and 2017, I had gone through some ebbs and flows as it related to um, my depression and having very intense, de de very intense depressive episodes. Um, and so in 2017, I kind of had reached a peak with my depression and it became very crippling at that point. And so I, I realized that I needed to do something to make my life better, just to have a better quality of life. Gotcha. Um, at that time, I remembered that my doctor in 2012 had explained to me that there were some holistic ways that I could go about doing that. Um, prior to deciding to go on this holistic journey, I had been taking medication for my depression, and I had some very adverse reactions to it and it just really wasn't for me so the second time around i was like okay well let me try this holistic approach and see if it works because i had never done it before mm -hmm. um and it was you know a medley of different things so uh she recommended that uh i started exercising regularly um changing my diet eating clean eating healthy foods um meditation and also journaling. And so I was like, well, you know, I, I've i done the medication thing that didn't work for me. Let me just see if this will work in my favor. Gotcha. Um, and so I did that and I, I went on this intense journey that was kind of uh, a bit of a self-discovery journey as well because again, going back to previous jazz, you know, I was not an athletic woman the least bit. Mm -hmm. um, so it was a challenge for me. Um, but once I got into the groove of things, I started to realize that I really loved the world of fitness. fitness. And, you know, not only what it does for me physically, but what it does for me mentally, I was able to really tap into this strong individual that I did not know existed. Um, and then with that, not to get too long-winded, but, and then with that, um, I was at the gym and I, I'd, I'd worn many of my competitors' bands gotcha. at the gym. Gotcha. I like, you know, I'd, I'd always liked that. Um, and I realized that there was some changes that 
could be made to this particular niche. And, you know, I just was like, well, let me try my hand at it. I did. And, you know, to my surprise, it was what was needed at that time, Mm -hmm. um, which was, you know, just four years ago. But things changed so rapidly. You know what I mean? But at that time, it was the right time, right place. And I was ready for that challenge. And, you know, my life hasn't been the same since. Nice. It's funny that you, you know, you share that story of depression. You know, I was never... Uh, clinically diagnosed, but I went through a period in my life as well where, you know, I, f- I didn't feel me. Yeah, you know, I didn't mm-hmm. feel, you know, who I was supposed to be. I wasn't happy, so I was feeling, you know, those emotions of sadness. I was going through it as well. I would, you know, sleep every night in a drunken state. Yeah, you know, um, the weekends turned into the entire week so um i think it's always something and that's why i always ask you know you know my clients and everyone else that i consult with like what's your why like what's the reason why you want to you know get into fitness and make these changes because on the surface level it seems that oh i just want to look good yeah you know and that's that's okay you know that's totally okay but it has to be something um, you know, deeper than just wanting to look good if you're going to sustain the journey. Right. So would you say that that's what your why was? Or like, did you ever, when you started, did you dig deep into the reason why you wanted to start? Yeah, I think I think like most people, um, you know, my reason or my why was kind of layered. You know, obviously it was, there was some low hanging fruit there meaning like yeah I wanted to look good Mm -hmm. um but the core of it was mostly me wanting to battle my depression because it was so crippling and I just no longer wanted to be that person like I kind of got tired of being in that state all the time you know the weeks turning the days turning into weeks the weeks turning into months and Mm -hmm. it's just you know was that in itself is exhausting so, you know, it was for me to make that change just to have a better quality of life. Now, the byproduct of doing those things is the weight loss. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But it's exactly. not like it wasn't the end all be all for me. Mm-hmm. I think that um, something that I've been a conversation I've been having with myself a lot lately because I'm on a new journey now. You exactly. know, I've um, I've I've. I, at the top of the year, you know, I gained all the weight back that I had lost, you know, years ago. And it happens. Yeah, it happens. And, I, and I had to start over. So my why, my why, again, was a depressive episode for sure. But it, this time around, it's been a lot more about discipline. Mm-hmm. And having um, an internal compass for how I navigate through my life. And so what I what I have been saying, you know, I really do have conversations with myself, you know, because I have to talk to myself about getting up and being motivated. Mm-hmm. But um, I've learned that motivation only takes you but so far. So when you're losing weight, it seeing the weight loss is motivating. But what happens when you reach your goal? Exactly. There's no more motivation, you know. And so I, I had to say to myself, who, who is the woman that I really want to show up as gotcha. on every single day? What does she look like? How does she show up into a room? What does she smell like? What does she wear? Like I had to ask myself all of these things. And what I really realized, the woman that I was trying to be or aiming to be was a woman that was rooted in discipline. Everything that she did was from a disciplined mindset. Motivation is is fleeting, you know. Mm-hmm. I am mm-hmm. I was motivated. I was motivated to get up this morning because, you know, I had an obligation. But my but my discipline in keeping my word to you is what got me here. So I always like to, you know, that's just how I like to navigate through my life now. Everything that I touch is really based in from a level from a foundation of discipline. I think if 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 
we can think in that um think in that space it will keep us grounded a lot longer for the long haul Mm -hmm. yeah yeah and yeah so you know like i always say like me and hector we always talk about discipline you know and how discipline is uh it it's greater than motivation it is because uh he has a quote that he always likes to post um it's um commitment is staying true to what you said you would do long after the feeling in which you said it has left yes and so like we said it's a feeling motivation is a feeling it's what makes you make you do what you do but like you said that feeling is fleeting and so for me you know my quote is um discipline is doing what you're supposed to do whether you feel like it or not, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you have to, uh, you know, get over those feelings of, oh, I don't feel like it. And, uh, you know, it's it's cold outside, it's it's raining, it's snowing. And um, so this just bringing me to this point in your journey now, one thing that I've noticed about you is uh, your ability to stay the course. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, I've been watching, you know, I, obviously I have, yeah, I kind of have to, right? Yeah. But, um, and I want to as well, um, cause like I said, I feel like my job is to um, give insight to other women around the world that, you know, are, you know, looking up to you and influenced by you to see what it is that you're doing behind the scenes because all they get to see is that, you know, a before right. and an after, but they never get to see the Mm in-between so can you kind of talk about your um steadfastness you know within your journeys oh I think that I think throughout my life you know from as a child I've always kind of been accustomed to a lot of pressure and I, you know, I think that it works in my favor now. You know, obviously when I was a kid, it was a little bit more troublesome. But when I look back on that, I, I think that it was kind of like a mental training that was taking place for me to be the person that I am today. It takes a level, it's, it's, it's all mental. And I know that we hear about, we hear that and it sounds extremely cliche, but it's the truth. Everything that you want, you know, is really rooted in where you are mentally. Mm-hmm. So if you can ta- if you can somehow tap into a deeper level of yourself mentally, all of the rest of the things fall into place. Because I mean it's really just like you get up in the morning and you say I want to work out. I'm going to go work out, you know. And then your mind starts to tell you all the reasons that you can't or you shouldn't. And then things start hurting. You know what I mean? Like things start, you know, the the, the things. And then this is this is the this is the this is how the motivation kind of plays you because Mm -hmm. it's like those thoughts make me unmotivated, you know. But having a disciplined mindset is really what takes you to the next level. So what people don't see is really just me holding myself accountable for the things that I've said that I do. Right. And and maybe, you know, the outward motivation, a very small piece of that for me, is that I know I have people watching. But this is very small, you know what I mean? That's more so the competitive side of me. I don't want I, I don't want anyone to say like she said she was going to do it and she didn't do it, you right. know what I mean? And you know, I have my son and so I it's for me to show him yeah, when you say you're going to do something, you see it all the way through. But for me, I don't want to lie to myself. Like, that's trippy. You know what I mean? To continue to say you're going to do something and then you don't follow through with it. Like, that's kind of insane. Mm-hmm. And you let yourself down. And I think that that's, in a, in, a, in a way, that kind of makes you not believe in yourself. Mm-hmm. Because you won't even show up for yourself. Just, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, you like kinda, if you can't show up for yourself in a in in just saying I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna work out for one hour today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're kind of training yourself to not do it at that yeah, point. You yeah, yeah. And it's actually it's a 
scientific thing, you know, within the brain and mm -hmm. you're creating these neural pathways. And it's yeah. like, if you say you're going to do it and then you don't do it, you're more than likely not going to do it the yeah. next time. And this so, is true. This yeah. is true. So it's all, you know, it's, it's all rooted in just, you know, having the mental stamina for mm -hmm. everything that you do in life is 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 mental gymnastics. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mental stamina. Yeah. Okay. Um so I see you have some new things coming out. I do. I do. And I like it. I, your quality has always been A1, Thank you know. You. Um so do you want to touch on that? Yeah, or? yeah. yeah. Um, so we're launching, um, well, actually, let me take a step back. So um, we're known for uh, our fitness bands. You know, we've been selling those for nearly four, for four years now. And uh, this year, I really wanted to make a shift within the brand and kind of do a bit of a rebranding. Um, so for about two years now, I've actually been working on this project of launching apparel. Um, this is, this journey of the relaunch of I'm sorry of the rebranding and and introducing new products has been really challenging um for for me you know it's it was a new experience I'd never worked in the world of apparel so I knew nothing about it I really was starting from scratch um but we're launching it it's it's coming in a few weeks now and um, I'm really excited so we have some very unique pieces, I believe. The quality is absolutely amazing. I'm extremely proud of the product that we'll, that we'll be putting out. Um, but, you know, this is another way for me to continue the conversation of living a healthy lifestyle. And one thing about women when it comes to working out, like we do need certain little micro doses of positivity. And so how we do that is, you know, and the clothes that we wear at the gym, uh, the weight loss that we get, you know, and things of that sort to kind of keep the momentum going. And so I was trying to figure out what's a, what's a unique way that I can keep the conversation going within my community about living a healthy lifestyle. And I was like, well, if they look good, they feel good, mm -hmm. they might be more encouraged to keep it up and to keep working out. Like that. Yeah. Um, okay. And so you have the new, um, you're, you're rebranding. You have the apparel coming out. You mentioned challenges, yeah. you know, along the way, uh, which there will be. Um, but so now I want you to kind of tie in together mm -hmm. your fitness journey with your professional journey as an entrepreneur, as someone, you know, who is, you know, looked at, you know, looked up to in the community. Um, how did the fitness help with the entrepreneurship? Well, honestly, or the mindset or just the mindset yeah. in general, um, honestly, who you are in your personal life is how you'll show up in your business. Gotcha. So if you are, if you're lazy, if you're late all the time, you know, you create these patterns, they'll show up in your business because that's who you are. Mm -hmm. Like that's who you are naturally. You're you're not going to suddenly turn it off just because you put on another hat. So going back to, you know, who was the woman that I wanted to be? How did she show up? In my personal life, that was a, a woman rooted in discipline. Well, creating those patterns in my personal life, it's, it's easy to, for it to translate into my business because that's who I am every day. Mm -hmm. um, that didn't... <laughs> didn't come immediately, you know, first few years of, of my business. Um, I had a lot of unhealthy patterns that showed up, you know, in, in my workplace. Um, but honestly, it wasn't up, up until last year that I realized that I had to make some significant changes if I wanted to reach the heights that I said I wanted to reach. Mm -hmm. Cause like that woman, the, that woman up there, like she, she she cold blooded. Yeah, you know what I yeah. mean? And she's like, she's just a woman of her word, you know? And so I was like, that's who I want to show up as. And oddly enough, how you show up as her is you, you show up every day, even right now until the opportunities afford itself for you to actually see yourself, you know, as that woman years later, yeah, you know, yeah. but it starts now. It's just, 
again, I, I hate to, you know, sound like I'm saying the same thing over and over again, but if you can, if you can tackle your mental constructs and if you can meet that with a little bit of discipline and have a little bit of motivation, I mean, you have a, a, a secret sauce that can make you pretty successful. Honestly, what makes people successful is not what they do. It's the fact that people don't show up. People don't have, and people don't have the patience. Mm, there we go. People, are, you know, people ask me, how do I do what I do? I'll, I can wait longer than you. Yeah, that's, I like that. I can I wait. Like that. I can wait so much longer than you. My 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 patience is on five thousand, and that with, you know, having discipline. Those those two things is a recipe for the quality of life that you're looking for. It's the fruit of the spirit. It honestly is. <laughs> yeah, it honestly is. And when and it. it you know, when I talk to people, people want me to say something crazy like, "Oh, you know, I got you know, I got some." you know, some chakras aligned and I did this and I did that. And it's like, no girl, like you, I, I stopped lying to myself. I stopped, I, I stopped playing all those games that I was playing with myself. And I, I became honest with who I was as a person and all of the things that I needed to unlearn. I did that. So I just want to know, so what is the one thing, just the one thing, one piece of advice that you would give to the women and men around the world that are watching you um, and are inspired by you? What is the one piece of advice that you would give them um, to get started in their fitness journey and a professional journey as well? It doesn't have to be entrepreneurship, just in a professional career or whatever, you know? What's the yeah. one thing? Hmm. It's so many things. Um, what would I? What what piece of advice would I give yeah. someone starting what on would, that journey? Yeah. What would Jazz say? You know, I would. I would just honestly, I would say, just show up. Because one of the hardest things is just getting there. You know how it is when you just, you know, you starting at home and you in the bed, mm -hmm. and it's like I gotta go to the gym. And you have this long conversation with yourself, you know. And you might talk yourself out of it. But for, for those that don't, like, the hardest part of it is just getting into the gym. Getting yourself there. Um, I think it's important to acknowledge what your fears are. Find out where those fears are rooted. And work backwards. Because... What am I saying? Um, you know, we're, we're, we're all faced with our own internal challenges and the reasons why we can't move forward. And what typically happens, and hopefully it happens, eventually you start to realize that um, the person that was in your way the entire time was you. And if you can, if you can get that honest with yourself, you could, you could be successful, you know what I mean? It's like, it's a level of accountability that's needed throughout your personal life and throughout your professional life and, and they overlap each other quite a bit. I just, if, if, if no one takes anything away from me outside of this, is that no one is, is going to show up for you how you will show up for you. And, you know, when the rubber meets the road, like, and you have to stare yourself in the face and realize that it's been you this entire time that's been holding you back, like, that's, that's one hell of a, that's one hell of an eye-opening experience. But it's a good one mm -hmm. because it's what gets you started for the next chapter of your life. So my advice is to just is to is to get with yourself, be honest with yourself, sit with yourself. Um, you know those dark sides of you that you refuse to acknowledge is the reason why you're holding yourself back. That would be my advice, and that that works for professional and and personal. Nice. All right, guys. So 
show up, be honest with yourself, get with yourself. You will be yeah. successful. You'll accomplish your goals, fitness goals, professional goals. Um, this is Jazz Jackson <laughs> and J Scope Fitness. Thank you so much. I thank you.